Always be testing is one of those cornerstone statements in the paid media community. We always wanna be testing, learning, and iterating to make sure we're getting the most out of our campaigns across all platforms. Now, Google and Facebook have had testing tools available in their platforms for quite a while, and now LinkedIn is getting in the mix. They've just announced their new A-B testing tool. So in today's video, I wanna show you where that lives and run through setting up the first A-B test in your account. As I mentioned, this new A-B testing tool from LinkedIn is brand new, and we only have access to it in one account. And unfortunately, that client is not currently active on LinkedIn. So this video will have limitations that I can't show you what it looks like after a test has been run, but we'll at least be able to go through the setup and show you how that works. If you've run a brand lift study on LinkedIn, this AB test functionality is going to be in the same place. So if we head over on the far left, we'll go to test. And then just like we would in a Facebook account, if you're familiar with that, we need to come down here to create test. When we click that button, we have the option for the brand lift test, as I mentioned earlier. But what we want to do today is an AB test. The first thing we need to do is give our test a name and I'll do that just to get that out of the way. And now we get to choose the variable. There are going to be three different variables that we get to use for a LinkedIn AB test. The first is going to be the ad or the creative. The second is going to be the audience and third is going to be placement. The first thing we need to do is determine what our budgets are going to be. So we need to determine if we want a lifetime budget or if we want to set a daily budget for this, I'm going to leave it as lifetime. We'll leave their example of 2100, but one part that I know typically confuses people when we come to AB testing is how that budget will be allocated. Is that 2100 for both campaigns combined? Is it 2100 for each? And LinkedIn does a pretty great job outlining that. If you look at the AB test summary over here on the right, you'll see that since we don't have anything else set up, we've got the audience size, but then we have campaign A, audience size, assuming 50% split, gets a total of $1,050 in budget, and campaign B gets the same amount. So when you set up your lifetime budget or your daily budget, if you're still confused as to how much you're going to spend, you can easily come over here and see what the split will be when you're setting up your test. Next, you'll need to put in the names of the campaigns that you want to see in the platform. Ideally, you will create better names than what I have here, but this is effectively what you're trying to do. You want to figure out which ad variant is going to perform best. So you have variant A and B. Next, you need to set the schedule that you want this to run. Currently, it is set up for 426 until 5-9 of 2023. So it'll run for 14 days. And you can see down here at the bottom that LinkedIn says a winning result is not guaranteed. Now, one thing I do want to call out at this stage is going to be the difference in the setup for these campaign experiments versus other platforms. First, regardless of whether you have a lifetime or a daily budget, you will not be able to not set an end date. These need to have a start and finish for you to be able to run the experiment. We also are not able to adjust the percentage traffic breakdown currently. They are set to just 50%. So each one is going to get equal shares. And here you'll also see we have different campaign name for variant A and variant B, but when we get down to the ad setup process, it's gonna be a little bit different than you might think. So let's continue going through the setup, putting in some additional information, and then we'll talk about how the ad drafting experience is different in LinkedIn versus the other platforms. So I'm just going to click next. Now we get to choose the campaign objective. The rest of this portion will feel somewhat similar to a regular campaign setup. Just for ease, I'm going to click website visits, and then we get to choose the test metric. This is the metric that we want to use to identify the winning campaign. So currently it's set to cost per click. We could also say cost per thousand impressions, cost per video view, or cost per message sent. From what I can tell at this point, all the metrics are going to be the same for each type of campaign. I just checked and conversion campaigns have the exact same four stats here. So pick the one that makes the most sense. I'll still just say cost per click. We can then set up the audience that we want to use for this test. I'm not going to put anything in here, but if you're interested in all the targeting options on LinkedIn, you can check out the video at the top of the screen right now. And then since this is an ad test, this is where things start to get a little bit more fun. So for ad format, usually for each LinkedIn campaign, you only get to choose one ad format per campaign. Now you'll see this little box up here at the very top. If you want to test different ad formats against each other for the same audience, same messaging, all that stuff, this is a great way to do it. This checkbox allow you to test creatives using different ad formats. So if you wanted to use single image ad versus a video ad, you would just check the two boxes. 
and now you're all set up. If you're really only curious about one ad format, all you need to do is uncheck this box. You choose your single image ad, carousel, whichever one you want, and you can run with that. But just for fun, I'm gonna make the more complicated one and say single image ad versus video ad. You then get to choose the placements. All of the budget and schedule information is all still in here. You could change the names if you really felt like it. You would then choose the conversion tracking and then you'd click next. And now we get to create the ads for the experiment itself. So in this first box here, you'll see that since this is the one on the screen, campaign A ads are highlighted in blue. And then if I scroll down to this next box, campaign B ads are highlighted in blue. So if I come up here to the top, I can click create new ads. And you'll see here that this is defaulting me to create new video ads for this campaign. So at this point, ad campaign variant A is going to be video ads. If I go back and I scroll down a little bit, create new ads here, this is telling me to create new image ads. So although the explanations or clarity of which ad formats are which in the platform aren't as useful as I would like them to be, you'll always be able to figure out which ad format you should use based on all of the fields that they give you and the wording that they use up here at the top. So I'm not going to put in any sample information because I don't want to go through the idea of setting up each of these ugly ads that I always make. But I do want to call out that in the builder step, it said to create ad or ads. And if you come down here, you can add ad images. So you can create up to five ads by selecting multiple images from the library or uploading directly. So in this process, you're able to test not only the ad formats against each other, but you can also upload multiple ads into each campaign. So it's not one single image ad versus a single video ad you can actually set it up a bit more similar to how you would create a normal LinkedIn campaign with multiple different ad variants. Once you were done creating all of your ads, you would go through a review and launch stage, and then you could turn it live, and the campaigns would run from the start and end date that you have, so April 26th to May 9th, it would spend the money, and then you'd be able to see the performance line by line. But again, this is not an account that's active, and I'm not gonna run this experiment, but I do wanna walk you through some of the other setups for the different A-B test types. So let's go all the way back to the beginning. And now I'm gonna change my variable. It'll ask you if you wanna do that because it's gonna erase everything and that's fine. So now I wanna test a different audience. Again, you'll see that the flow on the left-hand side changed a bit, but we still have the same type of budget option, naming convention up at the top and schedule. But if we click next, the first thing we do is choose the audience that we want for each of the different campaigns. So audience A, you just click set up audience. It gives you all of the different options that you have available, whether it's saved audiences or the LinkedIn audiences. If you don't know what those are, you can check out the video at the top of the screen right now, or any of your location settings, all the audiences, audience attributes, all that good stuff. You have all the same controls that you normally would. And then you do the exact same thing for audience B. Then once you're finished with that, you'd click next, and then you'd go through all of the remaining pieces here. So you would choose your objective, ad format, placement, budget and schedule, conversion tracking. You would set up all of your ad creatives, review and launch, and then you're testing in campaign A, audience A, and campaign B has audience B. Pretty simple. And then the last setup is going to be for the A-B test for placements. So again, let's just choose placement as the third option. The flow changed a little bit, but here we would be able to do Test budget, schedule, just like with the other ones. Now we click next, choose our campaign objective. Again, just gonna use website visits because it's easy. We then choose a test metric, set up audience, ad format. It already pre-selected a number of different audience pieces, which is a little strange, but that's okay. We'd come all the way down. If you wanna add conversion tracking, you can do that. Let's we'll click next. And then for the variants, we get to choose which placements we wanna use. So placement A in campaign A, we just click set up placement and then you can choose if you want to include the audience network or not. So maybe you just want to test LinkedIn versus all of the other placements and say yes to the audience network. Or maybe you have a little bit more control in mind and you want to test a campaign that uses some of the excluded categories or you want to upload publisher lists and utilize some of the brand safety controls in one of your campaigns and maybe just not use them in the other one. Maybe leave everything opted in so you don't need to make any adjustments there. If you don't know what the category exclusions or any of the brand safety options are in LinkedIn, we have a video that covers that up at the top of the screen right now that'll give you a good overview of what this is. And depending on how restrictive your ad copy needs to be, this could be a great experiment to set up to prove to your clients that you either do or don't need to use some of these brand safety controls to see the performance that you want while also showing up in only the safe locations around the LinkedIn network. In the end, setting up these LinkedIn AB experiments is extremely simple 
and follows most of the same types of setups that they do for Facebook ads, Google ads, any of the other platforms that have something similar. I'm personally really excited about the idea of setting up a test for image ads versus video ads because I like the idea of seeing how our creatives will perform with exactly the same split between the two because sometimes creating two different campaigns, one with video, one with single image, they don't spend exactly the same in the way that you might like. So I'm curious to see how that will perform differently compared to an A-B test. But I think that this can be a really helpful tool for a lot of advertisers trying to get more insights about how things will perform on the LinkedIn platform. If you have any other questions about this A-B test setup or about anything else within the LinkedIn platform, please feel free to leave us a note in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.